I am on day 1250. Welcome to another OMAD vlog. I am Dr. Erica and I have lost and kept off 60 pounds for over three years through intermittent fasting and also through exercise. I also like to help encourage and motivate you while you're on your journey. If that sounds like something you're interested in, sis, you may as well go ahead and click the subscribe button and join the family. I promise you'll love it here. Today is Thursday, December the 14th, and I am ready to have an amazing day. Today, I am on day 1250. 1250 days in a row of me, your girl, showing up for herself every single day because see i made myself a priority i am definitely important and self-care is not selfish it's actually necessary so let's go ahead and get into the word the word for today consistency is key Yes, sis, consistency is key. And I know it's someone out there that needs to hear that today. Girl, you're going to have to be consistent in order to see the results. Ask me how I know. See, I have struggled my entire life with my weight. And what I realized is the reason why I was unable to be successful, you know, long term is because I was inconsistent. I was on that back and forth, the start, stop, on again, off again girl and what I realized is that's why I couldn't keep the weight off but it wasn't until I start showing up for myself every single day that I was able to be successful and here we are now girl on day 1250 with no signs of stopping anytime soon so I would encourage you develop a plan that would suit your needs and your goals and start working that plan every single day. Now you don't have to go changing up everything. Just pick one or two things to focus on and you work those things every single day. Change up some of those daily habits and I promise you will reach your goal, but you have to remain consistent. Consistency is key. Now I know it is someone out there that is ready to start making themselves a priority. Start showing up and showing out, you know, start shining bright like a diamond. So if I'm talking to you, I want you to do one thing. Go ahead and stand up. See, not only am I the queen of consistency, I'm also the queen of walking in place. So go ahead and stand up and start walking in place. Watch this entire vlog and guess what, sis, your workout, your exercise, your movement for day one is done. Congratulations on making today, this day, one on your health and wellness journey. Now it's time for me to go downstairs and get my workout in. Girl, you just got to remain consistent. Show up for yourself every single day. Girl, come on. Sis, mindset is everything, but that consistency, consistency is definitely key. So it's time to head downstairs and get my workout in. Here's my outfit of the day and dance of the day. Girl, you know in Fit Fast and Dr. Style, I like to keep it cute. And our positive affirmation for today, I am taking care of my overall well-being. Now, sis, you know you got to say that one a couple of times.
So I just got done working out and as always, best friend, it was a good one. But you already know, I need you to go ahead and let me know about your workout. You already know the things I want to know. So I want to know what time you're working out, um, what kind of workout you're doing, how long you're going to go. Girl, tell me, what are you watching? What are you listening to? Girl, what was that entertainment? You know, because girl, I like to be entertained while I'm working out. Okay, so just tell me all the things, girl, that you want me to know about your workout. So mine was really good. So as you can see, I did get on my elliptical. I did 45 minutes. You already know how I start out the morning, um, you know, working out, warming up with my um, cordless jump ropes. And just in case you're new here, girl, yes, cordless, because I don't have time to be tripping over the cords. And just in case you are interested, they'll be linked down in my description box under my Amazon storefront. So um, warmed up, then got on the elliptical. And then for my resistance, I just did 50 kettlebell swings. So I usually try to break them up. So I do five sets of 10. So that's how I like to, um, you know, break them up, girl, because I be needing a little breather. Because when I tell you, girl, those kettlebell swings are a full body workout for me. And then just like yesterday, girl, I didn't did a thing okay so i did get on my treadmill i didn't have time to record it but i did get on my treadmill and i ran a mile so um you know no i'm not necessarily looking um forward to getting back into like endurance running because girl back in the day meaning like about a year ago your girl would be busting out 10 to 15 miles every single morning i know girl I, 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 but i'm not interested in doing that you know anymore at least not right now but you know every now and again i think it's okay for me to you know run one or two or three you know just a small um you know a short distance so um what was i watching so i started out watching my motivational videos and then i watched some day in the life videos and some vlogmas videos so that was my entertainment for the morning and my sleep score was a little lower um this morning but it's a reason for that so my sleep score girl was only in 80 okay but that's because i got in the bed a little later than normal so if you remember last night i told you that we had to go to braylon's basketball game and it started at eight o'clock girl we did not get home until like 9 30 i know so by the time i got in the bed it was after 10 o'clock and you know that is well past my bedtime so anyway yeah the sleep score was a little lower but I still feel good. So we'll just see how I feel as the day goes on. So speaking of the basketball game, girl, y'all's nephew did lose the game. Well, the team lost, but you know, I was trying to pump him up, hype him up, you know, let him know it's going to be okay. It's just like this little mini preseason uh, tournament thing they have going on. So this isn't the regular season. The regular season doesn't start until January. So um, since they lost last night, they don't have to play again until Saturday which means for us that you know what where i thought he may have a game tonight we don't have that tonight but what we do have on tonight girl we got to go to another company event for my husband so um yeah we'll talk about that in just a second but i did want to circle back to what i was just talking about on the steps about consistency being key when i tell you girl that has been like the key to my success this time around, this journey that I has, have promised myself will be my last one. And that's why I continue to show up for myself every single day because what i realized is in the past because you know i had to do a little soul searching girl like why has it been that i have struggled my entire life and not been able to keep off the weight what has made this time a little different and it is because i have remained consistent girl back in the day what i would do is i would be doing good for a week or two or three lose weight or even a month or two lose the weight get comfortable fall off you know go back to those um old habits and end up regaining the weight or when life's challenges would happen you know i just let that take me out but i have grown a whole lot since then and realized that once again i had to make myself a priority i had to do it for myself because lord knows i deserve it so i would encourage you today girl and the best thing about it is you got your best friend your consistency partner your accountability partner showing up with you and for you every single day sis do it for yourself this time girl start showing up and showing out 
every single day. So um, back to uh, what I'll be having for dinner tonight. So we have the company um, dinner on tonight. It's for my husband's job. And um, the thing about it is, girl, I've already taken a look at the menu. So I haven't decided like if I'll break my fast at home first, you know, just with something small and then eat there or eat there. So you'll just have to continue watching to see exactly what I'll be eating later on. But I'm going to go ahead, head upstairs, start drinking my water, girl, so I can get us out of here to school and to work. I'll just be checking in with you a little later, but go ahead and tell me about your workout. best friend it is time to check in girl go ahead you know how we do it is time to check in let your best friend know how your morning is going girl go ahead let me know how much water you've been drinking because like i always say we got to be sure we're staying hydrated and then also let me know about your steps girl and if you are behind your steps you can always just stand up and walk in place because you already know girl the queen of walking in place that's exactly what i do and then also let me know about your fast girl how's your fast going have you been feeling hungry you know i'm um, not so hungry if you are about to break your fast girl go ahead and leave in the comments what you're about to be eating and also let me just say this thank y'all so much for continuing to leave your meals in the comments because you just never do know who may want to you know try your recipe out you know may get a different idea from what you're putting in the comments and that's exactly what's going on girl i am just Girl, I am just so happy and just proud of us because we are building like this whole little community over here. So just continue to put your meal ideas, what you're breaking your fast with in the comments. Girl, just tell me anything there is to know about how your morning is going. So when I tell you, girl, your best friend is doing so good over here. And I know I say that all the time, but you know, it's kind of true. But no, I am doing really good over here. So actually though, girl, I am still working on this first um, 40 ounces of water. So I do um have to play a little catch up but that's okay girl we over here doing the best we can you know i'll be just uh chugging a little water um this afternoon so as far as my steps i'm over thirteen thousand steps because i have been doing just a little walking in place this morning and then when i tell y'all girl my fast is going good so right now it is 12 25 so that means i'm over 16 hours fasted but when i tell you girl i haven't experienced any hunger like at Oh, and of course I'm happy about it because see, here's the thing, just like I mentioned, I think yesterday or the day before, you know, every day is different. Every fast is going to be different, you know, and today is one of those days that I have not experienced like any waves of hunger. So I am definitely happy about that. So with saying that though, girl, remember I have been on these beans these past few days, you know, mainly my black beans. I need to maybe switch it up and start using some of my pinto beans because I like those too. But let me tell you something, girl, I need you to do one thing, best friend. If on these vlogs, okay, when I'm showing you my meals, if ever y'all see me start deviating like too many days without eating beans, girl, remind me of how good I am feeling right now. Can you do that for me, girl? Because remember, we are best friends, accountability partners. So once again, just remind me, say, sis, no, remember, you need to go back to the beans though, okay? Because the beans have me feeling so full. And that's one thing that I have, I've known it, but really now I think this, my theory is like testing um to be true. So feeling really good right now, girl, I'm just going to keep on pressing on until later when it's time to eat my one meal for today. But as far as work, when I tell you, girl, no complaints over here, we were actually like a little slow to steady. You know, we kind of been seeing patients, but then I have had times so that I can just come in here, you know, chill out, girl, do YouTube things, catch up on charts, you know, things like that that so um morning going good no complaints at all um 
I do have one small update. So remember yesterday, Braylon had to take um, scarves. He gave one to his main teacher, like the third grade teacher, and then also the principal. And then today he took um, the scarf to his enrichment teacher and then also his speech teacher. But when I tell you, the principal reached out to me last night. And so she said, you know, oh, thank you so much. You know, I really love the scarf. She was asking, you know, did I make it? And I said, well, yes, I did. You know, and I'm so happy you like it. But I I've actually been crocheting for girl shoot almost 30 years and so she said girl you did your thing i love it so anyway no i absolutely love his principal girl i love all his teachers because like i always say i don't play by my baby okay and it really does take a village so he is surrounded by just a lot of love and people who really just take care of him and we work together you know as far as like meeting his educational goals and his needs and everything so that's the update with the scarves and the crystal Christmas gifts and everything but speaking of which your girl has been in here doing a little Christmas shopping this morning y'all tell me girl are you done Christmas shopping yet because you know I'm not and usually by this time I would be finished Christmas shopping so I'm going I'm trying to go ahead and just like wrap things up okay because what I don't want girl I'm definitely not like one of those last minute people and I know we just a few days away so I'm trying to wrap this up okay like between today tomorrow like in the next couple of days so no that has been in my morning so far girl go ahead check in of course i hope you are having the most amazing day so far girl as always okay let me know how your morning is going and i guess i'll just be a uh, girl talking to you a little later once i get to the house okay girl go ahead and check in girl so there has been a slight change of plans girl yes let's go ahead and catch up so remember i was telling you earlier where well, girl really this morning um really the past couple of days i have been telling you of all the events that um my husband and i have going on um for the next few days well, um, tonight was supposed to be his, um, one of his work events, you know, their Christmas outing, but we have made the decision not to attend. So, um, reason being is your best friend, remember, has to get up in the morning super duper early. Girl, you already know I get up early, but I have to go, um, to the hospital in the morning. So if you remember, um, and just in case you are new here, I do, um, hospital cases. I see patients under sedation once a month and so tomorrow will be my day so not only do I have to get up early but then I also have to drive about an hour and a half away so my husband's like uh babe you know I didn't even think about that you know when um you know talking about and discussing you know us going to the event so yeah he said no I would much rather you stay home us stay home you get your rest you know because you do have an, not only an early start but you have to make that drive so um y'all honestly Honestly, I'm going to tell y'all, but um, I can't say that I'm upset about it. Okay, girl? Yeah. So um, anyway, of course, I hope they have uh, an amazing time. Okay. But your girl, we're just going to go right on in this kitchen and fix uh, our one meal for today. So what what will I be having, girl? Honestly, I don't even know. Um, I mean, but of course, you already know I'm going to put something together real quick. So um, yeah, I just thought I would give you that little update. I'm about to, you know, get things together. Go ahead, get scrubs together, get, um, you know, workout clothes together because I'm not quite ready to break my fast it's about 5 30 right now but i'm um, here the next little bit i'll go in and go ahead and start preparing my food so girl i'll just be back to show you what i'm going to be eating for my one meal for today here's how i'll be breaking my fast this is my one meal for today so i'll be starting out with a salad that's romaine tomatoes cucumbers and carrots i'll just top that with some italian dressing my air fried potato wedges with a side of ketchup my black bean soup and then also my air fryer um zucchini i just put that in the air fryer on 370 for about 10 to 12 minutes It is about 8.30 right now. And what do you think your best friend is about to do? Girl, go ahead. One guess. If you have guessed, get ready for bed. You are absolutely correct. Yes, girl. Because uh, your girl is over here feeling just a little tired. Because remember on last night, um, I had to go to Braylon's basketball game. Their little preseason, you know, game. So that put me again in the bed 
probably about an hour and a half, you know, past my normal bedtime. And then also I need to go ahead and get uh, in the bed because your girl got to get up extra early in the morning and make this drive um, to be at the OR. So yeah, I'm about to um, get in here, do my nighttime routine and um, call it a night. So um, I'll just be back to show you my steps for the end of the day. But girl, you already know, I didn't say this at the beginning, but you know that food was definitely a 10 out of 10. All right, girl, I'll just be back to show you my steps for the end of the day. I have had the most amazing day from doing the things I enjoy to eating the foods I love. Go ahead in the comments, tell me one thing that has made your day amazing. Y'all already know what to do. Show your girls some love. Click the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a video from me. I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye.